Nancy? A recent article in the Atlantic Monthly called The Confidence Gap stated, in studies, men overestimate their abilities and performance, and women underestimate both. The article went on to say that there seems to be a lack of confidence among powerful women, despite their many accomplishments. Do you see this in your work? If so, how can we cultivate greater confidence in girls and women? First, we love that book, and Claire and Caddy interviewed um, me for the book, and Running Starts in it. We're just a, like, we're literally a page, but we're a page, <laughs> so you have to read the book. Um, but I think that really what the reason they interviewed us is the crux of our work really is around that, is that women don't feel, um, they just, they don't feel like they're the right person to take on a leadership role. That, I mean, you might think, well, it's great to get women involved, but she would do a much better job because she knows more. She's smarter than I am. She has more leadership skills. They tend to push it off onto other people. And it's so fascinating to me that you will talk to, I mean, these two reporters, they're really at the top of their game. They're national figures, and they'll say that they feel really insecure and that they always question how did they get there or they downplay their accomplishments. So. Um, a big part of Running Start and a big part of my job is to talk to, to women and especially you know, younger women and just explain to them that no matter how confident you are, how strong you are, how well you do at school, etc., um, that you're likely to bump into some barriers that many, many, many women face. And those barriers are internal barriers where you're likely at some point to doubt yourself and to think maybe I'm not the best person for the job or to downplay your accomplishments. I have no idea why women do this and it's kind of offensive to even say it. I mean, I, I don't know if, if any of you women in the room are like, well, I'm not like that and you know, why would you just say our whole gender doubts ourselves? But I just have seen it too much. There are too many books, there's too much research on it. And for some reason, many of us, they, we do sort of take a step back when it comes to leadership. And so really, I mean, that's the heart of Running Start, is trying to tell women, you might face these barriers, it's natural, and just understand, okay, I'm feeling this way because a lot of women feel this way, but I don't have to act on it. And I really, I do have, I do have the skills, I do have the criterion to do this job. So, so that's what we're trying to do. Susanna was great. Um, she has a really great personality, she really held the room. And she talked a lot about vulnerable leadership and being humble, but also being able to uh, lead and command respect, which is a really great quality in any, any leader, woman or man. And she talked a lot about equality in the workplace. Overall, second day was great. It was a different experience from yesterday, totally. We're all beat. <laughs> and I mean, I'm excited for the week to continue. It was great.